everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Update. Thanks for joining us here as always. We begin with news of an emergency landing at Owen Roberts International Airport. CIG TV received word of emergency crews having to respond when an IFL group aircraft carrying cargo skid off the runway just after midday on Tuesday. Now a press advisory says while the plane was on its final landing roll at slow speed, it reportedly experienced an air apparent steering problem which resulted in it leaving the runway onto the north side of the runway strip. There were no injuries reported and aircraft crews, airport crews rather, were working to move the aircraft and enable the airport to return to full operation. Now the airport still had not been reopened as of 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. Well, the Heroes Day holiday has come and gone, but on the day, 114 people in the Cayman Islands were recognized for their contribution to health services. As part of the traditional celebration each year, the RCIPF band and other uniform groups marched through the streets of Georgetown paying tribute to the heroes who were celebrated. Hundreds of family, friends and invited guests were part of the colorful annual celebrations in Heroes Square. Professionals from a range of health services areas including mental, dental, public and uh, environmental health were awarded. These included doctors, nurses, midwives, dentists, pharmacists, emergency response workers, and mental health professionals, just to name a few. Now, for those who uh, passed away, family members accepted their awards. During his address, Premier and Minister of Health, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, said he was brought up to appreciate the advantages of a healthy lifestyle, as well as to respect those who help us to get healthy and work with us to maintain our well-being. Coming from a family of health care workers, Premier McLaughlin thanked all those who had fostered the evolution of health services in the Cayman Islands over the years and paid tribute to those men and women who have dedicated and still do dedicate their lives to the health of these islands. The Premier also presented an early pioneer award to his own father, who was the island's first public health officer. Well, join us on Friday night, this Friday night, when we air the entire Heroes Day celebrations only here on CIG TV. Local government buildings uh, flew the Union Jack at half mass all day Tuesday. It's to commemorate the death of King Abdullah of uh, Saudi Arabia. The decision follows instructions from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II that the Union flag should be flown at half mass on government buildings within the United Kingdom and most overseas missions for a full day following the passing of King Abdullah. Well, Deputy Governor Franz Manderson's names Stephanie Azan, a CFO with the Ministry of Home Affairs, top government employee for November. In turn, she acknowledges her staff as contributors and contributors in her getting the award. The chief financial officer earned the Auditor General's kudos in October last year for being the first CFO in one of the larger ministries to receive an unqualified opinion for her ministry's 2013-2014 financial accounts. And we say congratulations to Mrs. Azan, who has completed two, two master's degrees in addition to her certified public accountant qualification. Well, if you missed our news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Remember to tune in to Radio K Mads for the record and talk today's shows. That's week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and, of course, a very safe night, and inviting you back here again tomorrow evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.